Hey, I'm Victor Alpha 5, Mike Uniform Delta. And today, uh, in this video, what I'm gonna show you is uh, some techniques to clean uh, your components, mainly contact surfaces of your antenna um, to get a good connection. So we're not having this squirrely SWR or you know, you just can't get it tuned. There's something wrong with it. You're, you're you know, banging your head against the wall. Why is my antenna not working? Um, a lot of great builds on, on YouTube on how to build something, but some of the stuff that's missing is is some of the finer points, kind of stuff that we just kind of take for granted that like us antenna builders will make sure we have a good surface, right? So it caught me a couple times. I've had uh, some, some surfaces and I'll show you a couple of them that got me and wondering why it's just not working. So, hey, stay tuned, we're gonna get... All right, so let's get started on a couple of things here before we put things on the bench. Uh, today's test subject is gonna be this uh, janky HF antenna not HF, it's a digital antenna for TV. I bought it from Princess Auto. Yeah, Princess Auto. Yeah, look at this, eh? <laughs> that works actually pretty cool to catch some satellites, so. But what we're gonna use, it's aluminum and to do for continuity and basically what's clipping on antenna or leads to it. Now we make it look so easy when we're out in the field. We're just sitting here and we clip it on, bang, we're working, we're talking all over the world. And you try it and you're having just the worst luck. Why isn't it working? Let's make sure the surface is clean. So what we're gonna use for tools today, we're gonna to have this as our uh, our metal that we're gonna use. One thing you need is some sort of multimeter. It doesn't have to be a fancy one. It could be just a cheap one, as long as it measures continuity. And to do that on this meter, we put it to where the little beeper is. I don't really care how many ohms resistance it is. What I mean, it matters. But what I wanna do is I wanna hear this. Hear that beep? That's what we wanna hear. We can also see what our resistance is too, I guess. Let's see, it's zero, so we got, we're got we good. Um, since I'm talking about the multimeter, here's a little trick. Always check before you're checking for power or your multimeter, always touch the terminal, the two test probes together and put it on, on the, the function to make the beep or the resistance. Uh, one thing you're doing is you're testing to make sure your meter's working and your leads are working. We have something not plugged in properly, such as very exaggerated, this plug's unplugged. Hey, what's going on? So you're sitting there messing around and you don't know if it's your antenna or what, it's actually your lead. So test your leads first, that's the first thing. Second thing we're gonna do, wherever I can find it here, we're gonna be using a few products to clean the aluminum. One of the things that I love using is Easy Off Oven Cleaner. And this stuff is safe, it's uh, fume free, shows gloves on it, but even got it on my camera. It's, uh, it's safe to spray on your hand. It's not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna lick it or anything stupid like that, but it's safe. Now don't do this, full disclaimer, don't spray your face or your hands. Maybe there's something in there, but all I know is I can spray it on my hands. So I'm not going to burn it instantly. Hey, let's clean the camera up a little bit here. All right. Cool. Nice and clean. All right. All right. I've got some sandpaper too. That's going to be another tool we're going to use. We're going to see what it does scraping off the, the oxidization off of the aluminum. So we're going to be using some oven cleaner, sandpaper. Let's get started. All right. Let's get started on doing this. I'm going to take our antenna and slip it in here so you guys can all see. How's that look? It's great. Okay. So, let's see your continuity. All right, let's start with uh, this guy here. Doesn't sound too good. It's beeping all over the place. See that? Let's give her a shot of this. All right, let's let that sit for a second. Next one. It's all over the place. Let's give her a little scrape. Simple as that. Now let's hear it. Let's 
Sounds awesome. Nice and nice uh, continuity on it. This has to sit for about a minute and then it's going to clean off the oxidization. So we got that. Sandpaper works not too bad. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put the cleaner right here. Keep track of everything, what we're doing. What else can we use to clean? Um, we can try some uh, brake cleaner. Or let's try Let's try this. Let's try some uh, some contact cleaner. Let's try that. All right. So a little bit of contact cleaner on this guy right here. Let's see what that does. I don't know if I did it before and after. Let's do it right here. Okay, now let's clean it. Put it there. Oh, that's beautiful. This works really nice. Now let's clean off our... All right, oven cleaner is on there. Now let's try where the oven cleaner was. Very nice. Now you can see that, how well that worked because we got nice continuity off that. Everything worked well. You could see where the oven cleaner was. It, it actually made it nice and shiny. This just roughed it up and made it all sorts of you know, kind of made it ugly. Uh, the cleaner made it work. Uh, let's see if it's still good now. It's sat for a bit. It, you know, I think that's a 50-50, this one. It, it doesn't look nice and shiny, and it still, it still has a little bit of, where you do this? Oh, you know what? Very close. So there's a big comparison on, on the three of them. Use oven cleaner, we could clean it with sandpaper, or we could use some sort of uh, uh, contact cleaner for for electrical things, you know. So there's, a, there's all the comparisons. All right guys, to sum it up then, uh, this is a very great test on what to use, what works for aluminum. I know some of you guys are making uh, uh, antennas out of 10 posts. That's Victor Alpha 7 Bravo India X-ray. I had to think about that. I don't know, I say it about a million times. So Simon's making some antennas and uh, you know, he asked me what do you use to clean the, the posts? So hey, you know what? I said, Simon, I'll make a video on it and I'll show you what I do. This is kind of an everyday thing. Um, you know, there's one thing that we did, uh, we didn't try yet and but I want to show you it. So this is, well, it's a broken, it's part of a trucker mount that I, I bought. I, I buy these all the time. I, I love uh, making antennas out of them. I usually just buy, I buy them for, for this, the 3 8 stud and the uh, 256 connector and that little washer in there. I use these a lot in my builds and they come with the plates, kind of a bonus. What do the plates do? Are they, do they make continuity? Okay, I'll put in the camera. No, they're not. So that brings up the point. They sell these guys and the purpose of them, they got, they got this little plastic insulator. The idea of that is to keep the power from like the middle antenna separate from the coax on the outside, the shield. So as you can see here, I'll take it apart. It goes through the center. And this plastic goes right here. And then this is part of your antenna. Get it on camera. Simple enough, right? You go out and buy one of these and I push these all the time. Say, so get one of these trucker mounts, put it on. I wanna show you something that gets so over missed it gets it gets missed all the time and people are screaming like why isn't it working they'll clip on their um let's see here i'll get another wire here they clip on this to to here all right and that's like your your radio or whatever you want to do right your counterpoises why isn't it working what's going on it's all goofy right check this out 
we're gonna clip doing this up in the air could have had it on the bench but okay i got this clipped right here if i touch it to this what i want to hear is a beep let's see if we get a beep what is going on maybe it's my wire let's click it here oh i'm hearing some hey guess guess what it's working you know what's not working this guy has i'll show you this is actually plated uh with uh with actually a paint this is painted aluminum it's not real this is not what you're seeing there's some some of them that you buy are not coated like this one see it's so shiny put my money where my mouth is let's see if it see shiny not painted not clear coated nothing this one is so you gotta scrape off that paint around here and anywhere where you're connecting it. If you don't scrape off that paint, you're gonna have a problem. I'm gonna show you my performer antenna from Kilo Juliet 6, Echo Romeo Greg, you're awesome. You uh, sent all these, uh, you could send him an email. He's gonna, he'll send you the blueprints on his uh, performer antenna, formerly known as a Predator. And a lot of people might've had this problem. Let me go grab mine. All right, here it is, this is part of it. You could see, yeah, I kind of spazzed on it and I just scraped the crap out of it, but I cleared off all of that paint and I also did it on the inside here. Let's see if we got continuity on this thing. Put it on here. You know, I'm gonna throw it on my vise. Got everything in this workshop. It's awesome. All right, on the vise she is. Test our leads. She works. We want right here. Are we gonna get it here? Oh yeah, that's it. How about right here and where there's paint? Nope, nothing. How about right here where there's paint and there's paint? Nothing. How about right here and no paint? Yeah, I hope you hear that because I this video will go to crap if I don't hear the beeping. So what you need to do is scrape it off. Doesn't matter on the top because we have that little plastic washer on there. Talking about the little plastic washer, hey, what about if you forgot that washer? Well, don't forget it because you're going to be kind of in trouble. You might have to put some tape or go grab a straw or something right, like that. What we don't want to see is we don't want this right here, the antenna side, on our coax side. So let's go give it a test right here. Test our leads. They work. Nothing. And that's good. If I didn't have that washer in there, I would hear a beep. So that's another lesson here. Not only cleaning, I'm showing you all these little trucker mounts. So very important. Scrape off that paint. Get yourself from Princess Auto or a Harbor Freight, wherever you want to go. Us Canadians like the Princess store. Get something cheap. Uh, I'm in the trades. I have myself some good meters. This is kind of my spare one. Get out there, build yourself a cool antenna. Make sure you test it. Make sure you scrape off that paint. Get off that oxidization, and you're gonna have yourself some one wicked antenna, man. Hey, 73s for now. See you, hams on the band.